Hi everybody, welcome back to my 100% walkthrough of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. On this video we are going to be doing a, another side quest. This one's called On a High Horse. It's another Socrates or Socrates uh, mission. And you'll find him this time down here in the Port of Prius. So we are going to fast travel to the temple there and um, we're gonna speed up the video as we get down to him get to a road and then grab your horse and then ride just go directly towards it on this occasion we'll ride directly towards him then we'll get out and we'll have a little chat with Socrates that's a nice horse Socrates it's a very nice horse a sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. It looks like I'll have to report you, Socrates. It's what a good citizen would do, right? Oh, very good. Although a bit preemptive without all the details, wouldn't you say? It was a joke. The real question is whether there is truth behind the joke, or if one's mind can be changed once the whole story is revealed. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stable southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. Okay, so on a high horse. There we go, we've got the quest. Now we got to get to the man, so we're going to... Can't find my horse. Where's my horse? I will call my horse then. And which way is he going to take us? He's going to take us this way. So just let him follow it until you get to where you need to be. I just had about to say that sight. Then we get to here, and this is where it is. Now this is a restricted area, but we are going to go a bit gung-ho. We're going to run into here. As soon as we run in, this guy's going to run away, you see. And when this guy runs away, we are... These guys are going to chase us, but we can get away quick enough. So follow him. You won't escape. The other guys are chasing us too. So we have to keep running where this guy is. Oh. There he is. These guys are chucking arrows at us. But if you just keep running, you will get close, far enough away eventually that they don't carry on chasing or looking for you. Which will be now. When you put your weapon away, you know you're close enough. You've got away. There you go. Now you can chase him down happily. He's run up there, keep going, and eventually he'll stop, and then you get a chance to talk to him. Are you the one who stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught, but to have a Mystios judge me... Better than an Athenian guard. Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. If I had the Drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. Did you steal the horse to use it or sell it? I have a family to feed, and this horse will help me on the farm. Plus, I have no other way of traveling right now. There is no other option? Not that I could think of. Trust me, I feel shame for what I did. Any reason you pick this specific horse? It was the easiest one to take. Other than that, not really. Though. I did make sure it wasn't his best horse. A courteous thief. I didn't steal it for fun. I did it because I had no other choice. I have enough information to make a decision. I hope you can understand. 
Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family? Okay, so you can make your own decision on what you're gonna do. I've called the horse. I know you gotta go back to Socrates. Who's just at the end of this road here, basically. And uh, I made up my mind, as you will probably recognise, uh, most of my uh, decisions are fairly uh, kind. On the whole. Have so here comes Socrates. What should be done? If he needs the horse more than the man he stole it from, let him keep it. It will do him more good. So, determining whether a crime deserves a consequence or reward is dependent on the reasons behind it? An intriguing thought, although I can see how dangerous such thinking might be. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? If the action was for a good reason, then he is in the right. So, in times like these, people like us get to determine the law. Many would believe a murder still deserves consequence. The people whose lives were saved would disagree. Then perhaps making choices that affect the most people for good is the correct path. Wouldn't you agree? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay. And there you have it. That's the end of the mission on a high horse. I don't know whether you get a different result if you choose something else. Oh, we also get an ability point, so that's quite nice. And that's where we're going to end this video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn us down. Bye for